Welcome to one more problem on pointers. In this particular problem, I am going to show you how you can return the address or pointers using a function. We have solved a number of problems in functions where I have shown you how you can return an integer, a character, float and so on. Since an address or pointer is also a variable, just like I return integers and floating point numbers, I can also return addresses and pointers. So I have declared a function called as sum, which accepts x, y and z. That means it accepts into x, y and z three addresses. So I can pass address to x, I can pass address to y, I can pass address to z. This int star indicates that this particular function sum is going to return an address of the integer type in the sense it's going to return an address if you apply a star to that address you are going to get an integer value so i have declared int a as 10 b as 20 answer as the third variable i have declared a pointer to an integer type of data called as result that's why it's shown with a single star now I'm saying result is assigned the value sum of address of a comma address of b comma address of answer. So what is going to be happening here now is the address of a address of b and address of answer is going to be passed to this particular function called as sum. So when sum is called here for the first time or it's fact called for the only time x is going to get the address of a, y is going to get the address of b and z is going to get the address of answer. So what I am doing here is in z I am adding the values pointed to by x and y. So I am adding 10 plus 20 is equal to 30. So z which is nothing but representing the address of variable answer is going to contain the value 30. So answer now has become 30. So since z contains the address of answer, when I do a return z, the address of z, not the address of z, the address of answer is passed back here. It is returned back. The address of answer gets assigned to result. So you can think of it something like this. Something like this happens. Result equal to address of answer. If I simply print result, it is going to print the address of answer. Star tells me, give me the value or content at the address of answer. And that is going to print as 30. So here, in order to verify what I have explained, let's try to run this particular program. So here if you see, the sum of a plus b is printed as 30. And here if you look at it, result has in this particular call has got the address of answer because address of answer was sent here then when i did a return z here the address of answer was copied to this particular variable result so when i am doing star result it is printing the value 30. so just take a look at this return statement here when i am doing return z z is nothing but it contains the address of answer so the address of answer is copied to result as can be seen here and when i do star result it is going to give me value or content at that particular address which happens to be 30.